Hi everyone, I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy and this is the weekly reading. So what we do here in this weekly reading is take a peek at the weekly energy that we have going on and how we can best navigate that. So we're gonna be talking about what's going on with the energy, we're gonna be connecting with the messages and the information that I got to um, help us to best navigate this week and um, take a look at what to expect throughout the week. So we're gonna dive in to this energy. I think that it's, um, you know, it, it feels a little creepy crawly in some ways, maybe um, skin crawly sort of in some ways. Um, I don't know if you guys are feeling that energy right now, but um, it's a very action oriented energy, right? So you're going to find yourself feeling really drawn to taking action on things. And I think that in some ways, like it might feel sort of, um, we might feel kind of antsy if we're not expressing that energy in some way. And I, and I also think for those of us who have a tendency to overthink things, that if we don't expel that energy in some ways, that it's going to uh, turn into overthinking or feeling stuck in your head or, or struggling with, with that. So what I recommend is to, to pay attention to where you feel called to take action. Whether you're feeling called to go to the gym, whether you're feeling called to work on a goal, whether you are needing to tie up loose ends, um, it's definitely a good time to take care of like those little things on your to-do list that, um, if you're like me anyway, like, I'll have these things on my to-do list that just kind of get transferred over to the next one and to the next one. And so actually today I was uh, making my way through some of those little things that I, I just don't necessarily necessarily get to all the time. Um, so it's definitely an energy that's going to support that. We have zero planets in retrograde. So what that means is that the energy is moving forward, that we are focusing on taking action. And it's such a powerful time of here in Pisces season, taking those things that we dream about, dreaming bigger, right? Pisces season for me is all about dreaming and allowing ourselves to um, notice the visions as they're coming through because we're being shown what's next for us or what we need to be focusing on. And so it's allowing us to dream a little bit bigger and, and pretty quickly start to take action in that direction. So notice where you're being guided. Notice what you're being shown. Definitely this is, Pisces season is a time that we are much more connected to our intuition. I, I, I think that by paying attention to what's showing up for you, what you're being shown, that it, it's going to help you to know the answers to the questions that you have. You know, I, I, I was saying last week that there may be problems that are popping up for us that don't necessarily seem to have a solution, but on an intuitive level, we know what those answers are. And I think that we are starting to find some clarity on those things. We might not have all of the answers, but we are starting to find some clarity on those things. And I think what's what's really important here is that we, as best we can, stay in that energy of flow, that we stay out of our heads as much as we can. And we kind of just say, you know what? I'm gonna let myself be guided. I'm going to let myself be shown by my higher power the direction in which I'm meant to go. And I, I'm not going to think too much about it. I'm going to just kind of let myself be carried, let myself be shown, let myself notice what thoughts, feelings, experiences are showing up for me because I think we're going to put all of this together and it's it's going to allow us to connect with the answers or going to allow us to connect with the next step. For me, like I said, Pisces energy is very dreamy. So allowing yourself to sort of daydream a little bit and, um, you know, feeling like you're, you're going into like that more fantasy part of the brain, let yourself just explore what's coming up in there. Because I think actually some of the answers that we're seeking with our logical mind are, are actually going to pop up when we least expect it, when we're just kind of letting ourselves dream or, or have fun or be playful. This is definitely a time to not take yourself too seriously and to not take life too seriously. So if you are hearing that and saying, wow, like I really haven't been laughing very much lately. I really have been, you know, overly focused on something that doesn't feel playful, that doesn't feel good. Definitely make time and space 
for that because it's actually going to help you to, number one, manifest the things that you want, but I also think that the answers are going to lie in that energy of flow, and that's when we're daydreaming. That's when we're being playful. That's when we're just allowing ourselves to be carried in whatever direction we're, we're meant to be carried. Now, that being said, I talk about flow, right? And to me, a huge part of flow is actually action as well. And I think when we're in flow and we're letting ourselves be guided, we also are going to be given certain prompts in terms of actions that we need to take. So your job this week is to pay attention to those prompts. And the more quickly you can follow through with those prompts, the better, because sometimes it's there, there's a time window. Sometimes it's limited. And so if you get a prompt and it feels like an intuitive hit, it feels like it kind of came out of nowhere and it feels good and it feels aligned and, and it might feel scary, but it'll still feel kind of neutral with, with that intuitive feeling. And, and when you get those, taking action on those as, as quickly as possible is going to be really, really key here for best navigating this month um, or this week. And I also think um, leaps of faith for sure. You know, you may be presented with some opportunities to either align you up to prepare to take a leap of faith, or we may find ourselves taking that leap of faith here during this Pisces season because it's it's very much that fool card, tarot card energy where we are listening to our soul, listening to our intuition and letting that be our guide. And we're trusting in a higher power to guide the entire process, but it might look scary and it might feel like a big leap of faith. But if we can continue to honor that intuition and those prompts that we're getting and take action on those prompts, I, I, I feel it's really going to take us into some magical places and pretty quickly, I feel like. So making sure that we're doing that. Um, it's leading us toward, I've talked a lot about freedom, right? It's leading us in the direction of freedom, a life that feels more free. And I feel like as a collective, that is what we are moving toward. And like I said to you before, that's going to include the breakdown of systems and that's going to include the breakdown of systems in the collective, in society, but also the breakdowns of certain systems within ourselves. You know, us taking a look at our beliefs that we have and, and the ways that we, the rules that we have for ourselves. And we're taking a look at that and going like, does that rule even apply anymore? Do I still want to follow that rule? Is that rule important? Um, it, you know, where are my priorities at and what do I, what life do I want to be living? And, and how do I live a life that feels more free, more aligned, more fulfilling, more purposeful. So I really feel like this energy is being ramped up here with us. And it's a very boss up energy. It's funny, I pulled the, the boss up card, right? This is a time to go for it. This is absolutely a time to go for it. So if you've been sitting on the edge, thinking about doing something, definitely take advantage of that this week, this month. Absolutely. Right. Um, the card itself says, follow your natural flow and get to work. New inspiration for action. Step into leadership. Right. So there may be opportunities where uh, we're able to uh, lead or where we're feeling called to start a business or get started with something, I definitely would uh, explore opportunities as they're coming in. And don't doubt yourself with this dope soul card, right? Um, understand your dopeness, understand how amazing you are, and that you have everything that it takes to go for it, to do this. And this is not a time to play it small or to dream small. First card that we have here is the um, High Priestess card very, very Pisces energy, right? This is about us being connected to our intuition, honoring, listening to our intuition, letting our intuition be that GPS for us and um, allowing that to lead us. I really feel like our intuition is going to guide us into the actions and then these actions that we are planting, they're like spring seeds that we're planting in order to allow for that to blossom as the season progresses. So, Think about all that you're doing and what kind of seeds you're planting. Let your intuition tell you what seeds to plant, what actions to take, what things to do. And the more that you just flow with it rather than think about it too much, the better. It's going to get you there more quickly. Um, so the next card that we have here is the Knight of Wands. Okay, this is all about action. This is about going for it. This is about 
<clears throat> really feeling, I mean, this is a, a basically a fire being lit under our asses, right? And um, we're deciding to go for it, I think, in a lot of ways. I would absolutely take care, take advantage of this energy and go after whatever it is that we're feeling drawn to go after, seek that out. But we also have to put some structure to it with the emperor, right? So this is what I was talking about where it's going to be important for us to pay attention to those little details. Hi, Lisa. Nice to see you on here. Sorry, I know there's other comments and I apologize. I was in a flow and, and so sometimes I miss them. But with this Emperor card, this is again about leadership. So definitely for those of you who are feeling called to step into a leadership role or there's an opportunity connected with that, I would definitely go for that. If you're thinking about starting your own business, I would definitely explore that. This is absolutely an energy that supports this. Very much so. Um, but the emperor is, is also about putting a structure to it, right? So it's about taking the dream and bringing it down to earth. It's about figuring out, okay, so, so how, how do I make this happen? And I would encourage you guys to give some of the how, a lot of the how to God, the universe, whatever you call that, right? And you can say, okay, so if this is what I'm meant to be doing, show me the way, show me the steps. And then when you're shown the steps, your job is to take the steps, to follow through the steps. There's something that I'm working on right now. And, um, you know, it's absolutely a leap of faith for me. And I'm exploring that. And I'm just saying, okay, so so if, if this is going to be successful, if this is going to move forward, show me the how. Show me the steps that I need to take so that I can um, facilitate this in the best way possible. And I'm being shown. I'm absolutely being shown. So as you uh, take those steps, then you take the next step. Then you take the next step. And before you know it, you're heading in the direction of your dreams and you're taking action in, in the direction of your dreams. It's a really amazing, amazing thing. We also have the King of Swords, okay? So this is about us getting really clear. What is the vision? And I think that we will have opportunities this week, this month, to be presented with, is this what I really want? Is this what I really want? I called this video, the courage to do that which needs to be done. Because I think that like there is a lot of powerful, powerful truth that's coming through right now. And it's helping us to understand that you know, we need to make certain changes in our life. So it might be a leap of faith. It might be you know, um, you ch deciding to uh, transition into something different. It might be endings that we need to 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 allow or or create. It might be changes that we need to make. It, whatever this is looking like for you, but I think that it, you're going to be shown. I think that it's going to be clear. I think you will have this clarity of mind. Now, I'm not going to say again that you won't feel afraid to take action on it or move forward. But I think that we're gonna be pretty clear. I, I've said to people several times in my sessions with them today, I think that you know the answer. I think that you're just afraid. And, and, and that's very much this collective energy right now. You know, um, so that thing that I'm working on, I know the answer, I, I, I feel anyway, um, and um, I'm just, uh, I'm afraid. It's a big step. So next card that we have here is the Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is about us setting ourselves free from something that we have felt stuck in. This is um, whether you've felt stuck in your head and you're deciding, you know what, I, I'm not going to continue with this. I'm just going to... Re work on releasing the fear and moving forward. I'm, I'm releasing myself from certain things in my life that just do not align for me. And I think that we're going to find with this clarity of mind that's coming through that we've had the power to set ourselves free all along. And, and maybe we weren't ready and maybe we've had to go through all of this to get there. But we now understand that we have the power, right? This is very similar to the energy of like Dorothy's shoes in The Wizard of Oz, right? Where she's she had the power the entire time. And I, I think that we're going to be having a, a Dorothy moment here this week where we're recognizing, wow, I really, it, it's time and I can and I will. 
So uh, we're going to be digging deep with the strength card, right? I knew the strength card was coming out because as soon as I heard that sentence, the courage to do that which needs to be done, I knew the strength card was coming out because that's what this is, right? Digging deep, pulling from within to take the actions that your soul is telling you you need to take to make the changes that your soul is telling you need to take. We don't have time for bullshit anymore. We don't have time to ignore our souls anymore. That's not what this collective energy is anymore. It's like get clear on what you want and where you want to go and start to take action in that direction. This is, this is absolutely the month to do it. And then finally we have the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is, you know, so for some of you, maybe starting your own business, getting a different job, right? Uh, getting your money in order, getting, uh, it's very much a focus on creating stability, um, making money on, um, <clears throat> creating a life that, that feels stable and solid, but also fulfilling. And it is also the energy of an entrepreneur, you know, somebody who's wanting to do things their way, make money in a way that, honors their gifts so that I guess that doesn't have to be an entrepreneur that can be you can do that in in any work that you're doing but I think that we're getting really clear about that and we're wanting to do things that are in alignment with our values our gifts our sense of purpose right we want to we want our work to feel purposeful and again we don't have time for bullshit anymore so if it doesn't feel purposeful it's not for you and it's time to start to explore different options and time to start to see what else is out there because also with that queen of pentacles this is about us understanding our worth understanding what we deserve to be paid what we deserve to um whether that's with money whether that's with energy you know um what we deserve to receive here in this world uh and and also you know us being able to give that in balance it's a very balanced giving reciprocity kind of an energy here that I'm feeling with the queen of pentacles as well. It's us understanding our worth and, um, receiving that, um, and, and taking action in order to allow us to receive that. So I think that that's a really important part of that message. And I also think that there may be, um, some, some gifts in terms of abundance that is flowing in for us to help support the vision, to help support the direction that we want to go. And so put it out there, put the intention out there, you know, please show me the way and, and please help me with the how of how I'm going to make this happen. So those are your messages here for this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it so much. And um, if this video resonates with you, I always appreciate a, a like, a heart, whatever. Um, if you're watching this replay on my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below uh, so that you can um, make sure that you get all the videos that I'm sharing here on this channel. I'm working on getting the monthlies up. So those are slowly rolling out here as well for the month of March. And uh, if you want to learn more about me or about Clarity by Christy, you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com or claritybychristy.com if you want to learn more about my membership site. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you soon with another video. Take care, guys.